Amari Bailey, you already know, UCLA guard goes to the Charlotte Hornets, the Queen City gets another guard. I don't know what's going on with Charlotte and these six, five guards, but they love that prototype. But I like this kid right here coming out of UCLA. LaMelo Ball and Amari Bailey know each other, you know, very well. You know, um, in my humble opinion, they are familiar with each other's games, you know, and two California products coming down to Charlotte. I just think all the stars are aligned for him to be successful. I'm looking, I'm look, I see real green pastures ahead of him. I've been watching this kid since Sierra Canyon. You already know he played with Bronny James. If, if you unfamiliar with him, he he's gonna shut it down. Coming up this um next next um NBA draft, he's gonna be probably one of the hottest commodities in the whole entire situation. You know um but. The Charlotte Hornets was very active tonight. You know, uh, obviously they had the second pick in the draft that spoke for itself. And now with a plethora of other selections, they made their way down to Amari Bailey. We're going to get all into it. The Charlotte Hornets have selected UCLA men's basketball guard Amari Bailey with the number 41 overall pick. In, this, in the second round of this draft, y'all, this is, um, he had a successful freshman year with the Bruins. Um, Bailey joined Zach Levine and Lonzo Ball as the one and done guards to come out of Westwood in the past 10 years. Bailey is the second UCLA product to hear his name called Thursday. <clears throat> the win, Jamie Jaquez Jr. going to Miami Heat. At number eighteen over at number eighteenth overall, the Bruins have now had multiple players picked in a single NBA draft for the first time since two thousand eighteen. So this was very successful, you know, uh, for the UCLA Bruins tonight, and I think he, he's going to be successful, uh, especially with playing with a point guard like Lamelo Ball. You know, a guy that's going to pass the ball to him, get it. I mean, Melo going to have so many weapons out there. It's all going to be about how he wants to distribute the offense, you know, because the keys is really going to be in his hands. Now it's just up to him how he wants to handle it. But um, this is going to be um, a spectacular situation. You know, um, Charlotte um, adds Bailey to the backcourt. This backcourt is getting loaded. We're going to get into that in a second. It already featured Terry Rozier. We all know um, MB1. Um, it's, it's crazy. We all know that Lonzo Ball, you know, he, he tore it up at, at UCLA. Um, we all know it was some things, obviously some issues going on personally that he couldn't, you know, take care of business. But we all know what he should, what they were supposed to do, you know, but we'll leave it. We'll leave it there. Um, <clears throat> this guy barely is going to be the truth, especially paired with guys like Brandon Miller and the other selections they had, man. It's like this was a successful draft. If you if you sleeping on it, I think this is the best draft the Charlotte's had in a long time. I'm very pleased with these picks. You know, they got the big guy too. Um they they they, they checked a lot of boxes. You know, um as a McDonald's all American out of Sierra Canyon, ba barely averaged eleven point two points, three point eight rebounds, two point two assists. Uh, one steal all in 26, 26 minutes per game. Bailey shot 49% from the field, 38% from deep, drawing the start in 28 of 30 games. So you see the kind of trajectory this kid is on. So um, Bailey was named Pac-12 Freshman of the Week four times, more than any other player, and he earned one of the five spots on the Pac-12 All-Freshman team at the end of the year across his six total postseason appearances in the Pac-12 and NCAA tournaments. Bailey averaged 17 points per game, four rebounds, three assists, one steal. That's just that's spectacular. You know, so... You see what it what he what he'll be like when things get competitive. I like Bay. Like I said, I've been watching this game. This kid, he plays downhill. You know, he tore it up a lot in the uh, combine. You know, he did he did his thing. He like I said, he can get you could give him the basketball when now with Lamelo Ball, 
is now what LaMelo Ball has is he's got guys who can come in the game and continue to operate the offense. Because as you can see, when LaMelo goes to the bench, the offense is finished. You know what I mean? It's like, it can't happen like that no more. Now you got guys who could be an engine as well, you know, while LaMelo is not in the game. You know, so this signals a lot to me. Now we could get into real big business in terms of guys like James Booknight, um, Terry Rozier, um, Theo Maldolin, um, who else, DSJ. I think these guys' days are numbered, you know. Um, they just added a bunch of players at the same size, same everything, you know, clearly letting it be known the two guard position need to get shooken up. You know, I think they, they solidifying the three. You know, I think Miller just he, he he's he's the he's the forward for the future. You know, um, I'm telling you, Charlotte checked a lot of boxes. I think they're going to be one of the winners when it's all said and done and it's going to be off a pick like this late. Oftentimes, is the picks that not too many people, you know, are keeping an eye on. But this kid right here, and he understands height. And the Charlotte Hornets is going to receive a whole lot of hype now, you know, uh, with all of this attention that they have. You know, this guy all over the Internet, he's a YouTube sensation. Uh, friends with Mikey Williams. You know, the list goes on. This kid is box office, you know. Um, and now coming in with LaMelo. The Charlotte Hornets, man, I'm telling you, the star power and the, the kind of guys they're going to have on the roster is just going to be tremendous. Now, it's all about how they're going to put it together on the floor. That's going to be the million-dollar question, and we're going to be needing some million-dollar answers. But until then, you know what it is, man. We're going to be keeping everybody in tune on what's happening. But I'm very excited for Amari Bailey as he, you know, starts his NBA journey. Could it have happened any better for him? You know, to get paired with LaMelo Ball, like I said, two Cali guys, you know, um, and Melo is the undisputed leader of the basketball team. We're going to get into that later as well. Man, the NBA draft is in full swing. So many surprises, so much movement. You know, um, I can't wait till all this is over so we could chalk everything up and, and, and really analyze like, okay, whew, what the hell did we just witness? And I can't wait for that, you know, but... Shout out to um, UCLA. You know, they had a spectacular evening. You know, big night. And Bailey, th this was the night of nights. Um, he deserved this moment. These kids truly sacrificed a lot. They get here. We all know his mom. I don't think his mom gets enough credit. We'll get into that as well um, on the next on the next go around because I think she deserves a lot more respect for the hard work and dedication she put in to getting him to his ultimate goal. And I want to touch on that. It's Flight Sports TV. You already know what it is. Peace and love. Amari Bailey is teamed up with LaMelo Ball, MB1, the one of one. You already know.